the Kori Bakshi Shibata reduction, also known as an Itsuno Kori reduction, is an enantioselective reduction of ketones using a boron atom and a chiral catalyst. Uh, this reaction has a large group and a small group attached to the ketone, which will make this secondary alcohol. So there are two catalysts in this reaction, either the S conformation or the R conformation, as seen with the chirality center here in blue. Um, and this catalyst will act both as a Lewis acid and a Lewis base. This boron atom will act as a Lewis acid in the reactions, and it, this nitrogen atom will act as a Lewis base in reactions. For this description, I will be using the S conformation of the catalyst. The reaction starts when this nitrogen acts as a base, latching onto the borane molecule, and the ketone uh, acting as a base uh, latches onto this boron atom, producing this product with a bunch of charges. Uh, and it is important that this borane is now very negative, um, which makes this hydride want to latch onto this carbon here, uh, which will produce this transition state, uh, which makes a chair conformation of sorts with the large group being equatorial and the small group being axial, or pseudo-axial pseudo and pseudo-equatorial. So once the hydride is transferred, it will make this product, which uh, in turn will allow for the CBS catalyst to be restored after this uh, bonds, this oxygen bonds to this boron, and this goes back to the nitrogen. So this is now a chiral alkoxyborane under very um, acidic conditions will make this an antiomer of an alcohol with a large group and a small group, and then the alcohol in the back. So a real world application of the Kori Bakshi Shibata reduction comes to us from China. Um, these scientists uh, aimed to make these alkaloids that were usually found in very rare plants. Um, so the Kori Bakshi Shibata reduction is used here uh, to get from this to this and they also use the CBS catalyst to make this ketone into this alcohol and to do this they use the R conformation as seen right here um, and then from there they go on through a bunch of other steps eventually making uh, what they need which is the uh, benanine and the uh, deoxopodine.